if Coco was Carlos King and you had to choose former girl group members to form a super group with, who would Coco choose to be in her group? Oh, gosh. I, I know I would go to Jade. I'm getting somebody from Jade. <laughs> I'm getting somebody from Jade. I don't know which. Maybe Die, because I like Die. I still talk to Die. I still talk to Joy, too. Um, uh, probably Nikki from Brownstone, because, you know, we need a powerhouse. Who else would I get? I'll go get Mila since her counterparts are this. I would, they, they over here. I would get over here. <laughs> Come on, Mila. Come on, Mila, honey. Oh, I would get T Boss because T Boss has a she got a, you know a unique voice. Tasha from Escape. Mm hmm. That's the homie. I got me a good choir right there. We should no, go. you do. Who else? Oh my God, I don't know. Well, the groups are, I feel like I missed somebody. Would you get anybody from In Vogue? I'm getting all of In Vogue. But you know what? I feel like In Vogue, they said they started it all for us. So I don't feel like they should be in anybody's group. You feel me? I like, mm -hmm. and it's, it's because of In Vogue that I wanted to be in a girl's group. So I just look at them like, to me, they're on another level. Would you get anybody? from Destiny's Child, the found, the founding members or the current members? Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> and she could be the lead singer. <laughs> and I will back her up all day. <laughs> I'll back her up all day. Yes. OK, so is that Coco's super group that she performed? That's my super group. That's a super duper group, OK? But you got to get one solo singer, just like we got Nivea. What 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 solo singer would you put in Coco's supergroup? Um, you know who I would I would Sunshine Anderson. I would get Sunshine. Mm hmm. I like Sunshine. I like her personality. I like her skills. And she had a hit. She had a couple hits. So yeah, I would get Sunshine. I may need to produce this one, Coco. <laughs> Get my sis, Lil Mo. So yeah, it would be between Lil Mo and Sunshine. Lil Mo is good. No, that's that, that's a good list. That's yeah. a really good list. Now, and BT presents the encore is about former girl group members, and to me, it's a love letter to girl groups. When you all was coming up in the game, mm -hmm. was there any sort of like beef that girl groups had with each other that you knew about? Yeah, of course. We all had beef with somebody. Like who? <laughs> Look at you. Like who? Uh, we had, <laughs> you know, when SWD first came out, our name was TLC. Honey, we got a cease and desist. <laughs> Real fast. <laughs> so <laughs> we had to change our name. Like we had a record coming out. We had to change our name so fast. So, you know, we weren't too happy about that. You know. Okay. So that's how we we went from TLC to SWV. You know, and then we had a little something with Jade back in the day. But you know, as we were so we were so hood and just terrible. But now would y'all would y'all see each other and throw looks, or would y'all throw shade, or would y'all throw fist? No, we never had any fist fight. We were taller than everybody else, so I don't think nobody. It was like we were so ghetto. <laughs> so ghetto. So I don't really think, you know, but it wasn't that deep, you know, that we would throw hands or anything like that. No. So what was it? What, what, what was that era like, though? Because one thing about this show that I wanted to represent is female empowerment. Mm -hmm. Like, women getting together to support each other. So... In that era, it was SWV, TLC, Escape, exactly. Salt and Pepper, like all of these amazing groups. Was were the record labels trying to pitch you guys against each other to see who could survive? Because you know, it it was sort of like it was a lot of the girl groups. You know, I feel like the record labels they weren't trying to pit us against other groups, but they were trying to pit the group members against each other. That's what they would do. 
So you see a lot of girl groups break up or this and that. Instead of, I feel like, instead of trying to talk to us and keep us together, they were busy, like, tearing us apart. So, yeah, I had an issue with that, you know, and I feel like as a, being in a group, you have to learn how to be united on your own because there are a lot of outsiders that will come in and they're whispering in your ear. And when you caught up in the hype, honey, that hype, that good hype will get you. Did you, you have a lot? Did you have a lot of hate because you were the lead singer and the face of SWV? And was there a lot of people positioning you to be the star of the group? You know, when we first started, it wasn't even like that because Lily did a lot of um, singing when we first started. But when we got to the label, the A and R, he had an idea of he wanted a female version of Guy. And who's the voice of God? Aaron Hall. So he felt like I reminded him of Aaron Hall. So that's the way that we went. Yeah, I got a lot of hate. But I got a lot of hate because I was brown skinned and they felt that I wasn't the epitome of what a lead singer should be. I said, but I'm going to let you hear me and I'm going to show you that this brown girl does have something. So that was another thing that really got under my skin. And, you know, I took it out on people or whatever but yeah i got a lot of hate for for that yeah so you 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 kind of understand what some of these women had to go through with their yeah. group breaking up oh, and yeah. and one thing that i was told is every girl group that breaks up is a man behind it is, is would you say that's true mm -mm. <laughs> not for us a man yeah, whether it's the male manager, whether it's the record label, whether it's the producer in the girl's ear saying, you should do this, you should do that. You don't trust her. Like, they always say it's a man in, in a girl's ear that feeds stuff into her. It could have been. I don't know. We had so many people that were around us that were in our ears that we were, like, our friends. And could have been the label and people that we worked with. But I was so, like out of it by then like i don't know what the hell was going on yeah I, but we weren't getting along we weren't speaking so i don't it could have been a man it won't my man okay given the opportunity yes yes what would you like to do on I BT for the on tour for the girls because i feel like a lot of them don't understand like you know this is a different day and time so i would love to mentor them um help them out with some of the vocals you know, help the girls out, whatever they need. You know, I would like to do that because I feel like I wish SWV would have had that. And we mm -hmm. never, ever had anyone to mentor us, to, mm -hmm. to lead us, to guide us, tell us what we were doing right, tell us what we were doing wrong. Like, they sent us to charm school, but it obviously didn't work. But they, we, we all need that, you know? And I feel like that I would be good at that. So I would be real, raw, and direct. So would you want to be the mentor in terms of like vocal coach and whatever? <laughs> well, you know, Keely is the creative director, so is she. <laughs> so I don't know you can step on the toes, honey. That's the thing, child. Fine. He's coming back. Listen, I am telling everybody that. I want to get through season one before I even talk about a season two. But because I know the most anticipated question that everybody wanted me to ask you, yeah. because you have been on the list of people who they want to be a part of the encore. It's you, it's t Boz, it's um, A. Marie, they want Nikki Gilbert, they want Kiki Wyatt. Like, you see, they want all the crazies. I see what they doing. I see what y'all are doing. <laughs> but I got enough medicine for everybody. See? <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, SWB is the architect of girl groups. Can we expect anything from you ladies? Is there a tour on the horizon? Anything? Mm -hmm. We're working on a tour. Because With who? I don't want to tell you yet. We would love to do an all-girl tour, but I guess we all haven't grown up yet. But we are working on a tour, and, um, you know, next year is our 30th year, so we made it. So we're going to celebrate. We're doing a movie. 
You know, I'm we're, we're very excited about that because you think you know, but you'll get to really know once you see the movie. So we're, we're working on that. I don't know about new music, but yeah. So wait, this is an exclusive. So SWV is working on a biopic of yeah. your life. Yes. Who would you want to play you in a movie, Coco? Well, the older Coco, I want seven. I would love for seven. She says she'd do it. So, yes. But as a younger Coco, because I've always been a little sassy, I want to shout out my girl, Rane. She's an um, up-and-coming singer. She looks like me. She acts like me. So, I would like, because you have to be sassy. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who would you want to see play Lily and Todd? Oh, I don't know. I, we, but we definitely have to make sure they look like Lily and Taj. Because, you know, people get people that don't look nothing like them. But I think Tika Sumter could play Taj. Yeah. And I'm not sure for Lily. Lauren think. London? Yeah, she was a name that came up. I think Lily wanted Lauren London. Yeah. I remember. Okay, that. so I'm going to, because listen, people actually listen to me. I know, strange, right? But <laughs> so if you guys are listening for the SWB biopic, we want Southern Streeter to play Coco. Mm -hmm. We want Lauren London to play Lily. And we want Tika Sumter to play Taj. My son could play me with a wig on. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jay, don't kill me. Don't, don't kill me, Jay. <laughs> First of all, I, I, I do have to say, you are a wonderful mom. And, and keep supporting your son, and that's coming directly from me. Thank you. Enough Thank said. You so much. Like, yes. that's coming from me.